Lab-grown diamonds are created in different parts of the world. The most common producers are Russia and Indonesia. But people have been trying to create diamonds near 100 years. It is only recently that lab diamonds are made in such a high quality. Originally, the diamond would look burnt yellow or brown. But since 2013, with the CBD process, we can now sell type 2A diamonds. All this means is there's never going to be fluorescence in the diamond. It will be clear and it is offered in a VVS quality. These lab diamonds take six months to make with a carbon drip effect and three months to grade, cut, and certify. The chambers that build the lab-grown diamonds can be quite large, some taking up entire warehouses. Lab-grown diamonds are eco-friendly, which means that their effect on the environment is minimal. Lab-grown diamonds are typically 30% less than mined diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds are and test out as real diamonds. Only 2% of our industry diamonds used to be all type 2 diamonds before 2013. But after 2013, that 2% has jumped significantly on the lab side because diamonds were once a limited resource. Now a 2% natural mine type 2A is going to have a different cost value than a lab created type 2A. It's going to be much higher on the mine side. How do we tell the difference? There are a few machines out there being produced by Yehuda right now, one being the Sherlock. Lab grown diamonds are currently flooding the market. It's important that we know what we're selling when we're selling it.